Hello, I'm David from geeklist.net and today we're going to look at Adobe Photoshop Guides. Guides allow you to add lines to your document so you can easily align your layers and groups to them. To begin, we'll start by creating guides. There's a few ways to do this, but we'll go with the original method, which is going to view New Guide. In this dialog that appears, you can choose the orientation of the guide, either it be vertical or horizontal, and the position of it. I'm going to choose 50 pixels to center it in my document. Alternatively, if you go to View, New Guide, you can add a percent, so I can add it to 10%. Now, that way, you can get a, an exact position of a guide, but if you want to create a guide quickly, you can click on one of the rulers on the top or the left side and drag down. When creating these, you won't get an exact position, but you can quickly create them. If you want to move an existing guide, you go to the Move tool, which is this uh, cursor with the pl uh, Move icon, I guess, or the letter V on your keyboard, and you go to the, over the guide and you can move them. To flip an existing guide, when moving it, you hold down Alt and it will flip the orientation of it. When moving a guide, you may want to snap it to be pixel perfect if you're doing web design. As you can see when I'm moving the guide, it's not snapping to the pixels. Right now it's 43.5 pixels. But if I hold down the shift key on my keyboard, you can see that it snaps to every two pixels and the further I zoom in, it snaps to every one pixel. To delete existing guides, you click on a guide while using the move tool and drag it out of the screen. And if we zoom out, we can see that it's gone. I'm going to do that to the existing ones. If you want to delete all the guides quickly, you can go to view, clear guides. But if you just want to hide the guides, you can go to view, show, and untick the box that says guides. As we can see, the shortcut key is control plus semicolon. Now, I'm going to delete these guides and create a new one at 50%. I'm going to create a new layer and paint it red. Now, you won't really be able to notice it because you can't really feel the mouse cursor moving because it's a video. But once I get close, it snaps to that pixel. You can see my mouse cursor moving slightly, and it's sticking to the guide. This also works with groups. So if I create a new group and throw that red layer in it, it snaps also. That's the fundamentals of using guides in Photoshop. If you haven't been using them yet, you really should. It helps tremendously, especially with website design. This has been David from geeklist.net, and until next time, goodbye.